Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at a triple branch, three parallel branches, each with a different resistor, and we're trying to determine the amount of current that will flow through each of the branches. And we're going to do it from a conceptual perspective first. So notice that on the top branch, we have a two ohm resistor. The middle branch, we have a four ohm resistor. The bottom branch, we have an eight ohm resistor. We of course do know that when you add the three currents together, I1, plus I2, plus I3, that will add up to the total current entering the branch point. We can also say that if we compare the current I1 to current I2, we can say that I1 must be equal to 2 times I2. Now, why can I say that? Well, notice that the resistance in the second branch is twice as much as the resistance in the first branch. Twice the resistance means half the current. Or I can say that the resistance of this branch is half the resistance of this branch. Half the resistance means twice the current. That's why I can say that, oop, and I should say I1, not I, but I1 is therefore twice I2. Let's compare I1 to I3. Notice we have four times the resistance here compared to there, which means we'll have one quarter the current through here relative to then the branch over there. Or in reverse, since this is one quarter the resistance compared to that branch, it'll carry four times as much current as it will carry through this branch. In other words, I1 is going to be equal to four times I3. Now one more comparison, I can take a look at the current through I2 and the current through I3. Notice that I3 or the, the bottom branch has twice the resistance relative to the middle branch. Twice the resistance means half the current. Whatever current flows through this branch, only half of that much will flow to this branch. Or in reverse, since this has half the resistance relative to this branch, I can say that this branch will carry twice the current relative to that branch. In other words, I can say that I2 will be twice I3. Now I'm ready to plug these values or these relationships into our original equation. In other words, I'm going to calculate everything in terms of I3. So I'm going to replace I1 in terms of I3 and I'm going to replace I2 in terms of I3. In other words, I1 can be written as 4 times I3 and I2 can be written as twice I3. Of course, I3 is still I3, and all that added together should equal the total current I. If I now add those three together, 4 plus 2 plus 1, I get 7I3 is equal to I, or I can say that I3 is equal to 1 seventh I. From here we can see that with this kind of arrangement of resistors, that one-seventh the total current will run through the bottom branch. Now, we can also calculate the current through the other branches, since we have I1 and I2 written in terms of I3. So with I2, since I2 is equal to twice I3, and of course I3 is one-seventh the total current, this becomes two times one-seventh I, or I can say that I2 is equal to 2 sevenths the total current flowing into the branch point. And finally, calculating I1, I can say that I1 is equal to, here, 4 times I3, which is equal to 4 times 1 seventh, I don't know the current, but I, which means that I1 is equal to 4 sevenths the total current. And of course, you can see that I1 is twice the current relative to I2, and I1 is four times the current relative to I3. Now, when I add those three currents together, I can say that I1 plus I2 plus I3 will be equal to, I1 will be 4 sevenths I, plus I2 will be 2 sevenths I, plus I3, of course, is 1 seventh I. And notice when I add those together, 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 7 sevenths I, which is equal to the total current I. So I can see here that when I add the three currents together, I do indeed get the total current entering the branch point. Now, of course, this is just conceptual with three very specific resistors. Now, what we need to do is look at the general case with any size resistor. Can we come up with equations that describe the amount of current flowing to each of the branches? The answer, of course, is yes. 
So let's take a look at our next example, or I should say our next video. We'll show you how to come up with the general case to calculate the current through each of the three branches for a parallel branch with three branches. That's how we do that.